Holy cow, guys. Uh, I had just finished editing this video. In fact, I had, I was actually literally finishing editing the video when my phone rang. And on the phone was the founder and CEO of Fashion. As you watch my regular video, you're probably going to know why she called, but it was an incredible phone call. And I'm going to tell you about it at the end of this video. So hang tight for it. And, um, the video is going to be a little bit longer than my videos usually are, but I have to tell you what happened. I asked her if it was okay to relate the phone call and she's like, yeah, sure, whatever. So anyway, on to my fashion unboxing. Um, see you at the other end. Hi guys. We have a surprise today. Surprise. Guess who's back from her trip to exploring what the Antarctic or where were you? Mission to Mars. All right. I got a fashion box and um, I got one probably a little less than a month ago. That seems really soon to get another one, but I have to tell you, I regret so bitterly returning, if you watched the last one, that strange top with the ties in the back. I really regret returning that. When I was looking at the video again up on YouTube, I said, man, that looked pretty darn good, even with the weird ties. Well, that one's gone. I may re-request it. With fashion. It's a styling service. They send you seven items, and of those seven, you pick five for them to send you. If you are interested in fashion, I'll have details about it in the description box below. They are running a special right now, and it stops on July 15th. If you want to sign up for fashion and you use my referral link below, um, or anyone's referral link, you will get $20 credit toward your first box, and there is no styling fee. So it's a way to try it out and go right into the box with some credit. If you're interested, more information in the description box below. After July 15th, that amount of credit will be $10 before it's $20. All right. Anyway, let's see what these look like. I've seen pictures of them in the preview. The preview pictures are really tiny, so we'll see what they look like in person. Mary, you have a box opener for me. It's so nice to have Mary back. All right, let's see what we got. Please don't slice your finger off. That would probably give on. us a lot of hits on YouTube. Stupid mom slices fingers off. There you go. Okay, as always, you get your little envelope with your invoice in it, which is here. You only pay for what you keep, but that lets me know what each item costs. And there's a little card that explains what you do next. Um, how much time you have to look at it, how to package returns, etc. And they always include a big prepaid return envelope, so whatever you don't want, you just mail back to them. Now, with fashion, if you keep at least three of the five items, you get a 25% discount. If you keep all five, you get a 30% discount on the items. So that's another reason I'm kicking myself for not keeping that top, because that would have been the third out of the ones I kept. <sighs> Can't go back in time. Here's my little bundle. And let's open it. Comes a little fashion sticker. Mary, go ahead, rip it open, have fun. All right. Let's see what we got. A lot of print. Yep. Not not all of them though. Oh, that looks different than I expected. All right. This is by Sago. S O G G O. Don't know what that is. And it is a. Looks a little big, but um, the print is. I can see why I said I like the print on that one I returned before. It's a similar print, but the green is a lot lighter. Um, but it does have green in it, which is, of course, as you guys know, my favorite color. So we'll try that. It's like a couch cover. <laughs> it does. Mary and I have different um, tastes. And this is a things. really light green. I thought this was, I didn't realize this was green. I thought it was gray on the preview. That's kind of cute. That might be too light for me. I tend to need a little bit more richness and color or it washes me out. I like this. Is, feel this. It's really soft. Ew, I don't like that. It's not velvety. It's, Maybe it's no, too it's, much like velvet. It's, it's really, similar. really, really soft. It kind of feels like a little t-shirt. It's a suede feeling, but it's light. It's not like a heavy, it's not a heavy top. It is. At the end of the video, when I give you the item names and prices, which will also be in the description box below, I'll tell you what these materials, the shirts are made of. Anyway, there's that one. It's another little tee. And I always tell them I like t-shirts that are just a little bit, I don't want to say dressier, a little bit more than a regular t-shirt. Like this one they sent me last time. 
All right. Ooh, this is staccato. I have seen staccato in other people's fashion boxes. Uh, giving the wrinkle, I'm going to guess this is rayon. We'll see. It's very light. I really like that. There's a little button detail see, down the here. the button on that side makes it look like you're an old-fashioned doctor, like if it was white. <sighs> We've missed you, Mary. <laughs> I like this one a lot. All right. Oh, oh, look at the color on that. Oh, Wow, this is like, how can I describe that? There's like a crochet or lace over another bit. It's got like a three button, like a Henley look to it. Oh, that looks like the ocean. I really like that. It feels, it doesn't feel heavy like it's warm, but definitely there is some weight to that kind of crochet lace material. You can see right through the sleeves, but the body is lined. Ooh, I really hope that fits. I love the color on that. And then this one is a Renese, which Stitch Fix has a lot. And this is just a plain, simple uh, tee. It is not really long. It's for me because I have such a short upper body. It would fit like a regular shirt. It wouldn't be cropped on someone else. This might be cropped. I'll show you the material. It's a little bit, I don't know, tweedy. And it's got a little detail at the sleeve. What? Okay. I like that. So all the tops in here I like. I don't know how they'll all look at me, on me. I don't know how they'll look at me. But if my tops are looking at me, I need to see a doctor. All right. Anyway, I will do a try on and be back soon. Okay. I turned the recording on. This is top number one. This is the Renee C top. Um, doesn't really, well, it doesn't not go with these shorts. It's not great. Not the best shorts for it, but of course, I'm limited with what I can wear on my bottom half because of my broken foot. Um, what do you think of the color? I'm not a major fan of blue, although I've grown to like navy. And this is sort of a navy and cream tweed. Is this too tight? Mm, a little. Here's the staccato top. Um, pull it down. Again, if I wasn't wearing these shorts might look different. I don't know, this feels great. I don't know what material this is. It feels great. I have a lot of teal. I think it looks a little big and boxy. I think it's supposed to, although it's not, certainly doesn't give a lot of room in the hips. It fits okay, it's not tight. Just is probably a little better, more like that. I do like the button detail, contrary to how Mary feels about it. I like that a lot. I do like the color. Turquoise, maybe, not teal. Turquoise. Um, this is that one that has sort of a suede feel to it. I like the color much better than I thought I would on me. It is too small. All right. I feel like a little bit of a sausage. In a size up, this probably would work. What do you think of the color? Okay, this one is the similar pattern to that one with the odd ties I got in the last box, but I think I like the pattern on the one in the last box a lot better. It had a, a navy background with kind of a deeper green. This is just not quite doing it for me. And this is running really large on me, I think. Maybe it's not. What do you think? Is it supposed to be that big? As I back up, I'm kind of liking the sleeves. Oh my goodness, this material feels silky. Take a little closer look at this. Um, the flowiness, this material feels so great. This is pink. And the one thing I don't like about this, and it's really the only thing I don't like about this, um, actually, I would love a little bit of detail on the collar, but that's fairly minor. Um, this shade of pink mixed with the green and orange seems to me to clash. If this was a dark, if this was like a navy um, or a darker green, this would be awesome, but I want you to take a closer look at the sleeves here. Okay, do you see? I feel like Igor. Um, I don't know if you can see how flowy these sleeves are, and when I stand, how they fall. It's almost kimono-ish without looking like a kimono. Um, this just falls and moves so well. The only thing making me think twice about this is the pink. So I'd like your opinions on it because I think the pink clashes.
And here is that last top. You can see a little bit closer. The kind of lace, I guess it is lace. It's like a high, something between lace and crochet. To me, that just looks like, like ocean waves and different colors coming up. Uh, I love the color on this. Tell me what you think of the fit and the design. Hmm. All right, I am going to think about these, try them with a few other items in my closet. I'll be back in a few minutes with a recap, the item names, prices, and materials. Hang on there. Okay, recap. It is a little bit later. And I've had a chance to kind of try these out a little bit with uh, different items. First, the one Mary thought looked like a doctor shirt. As usual, this looks very slightly bluer on camera than it is. It's, it's, it's turquoise, um, or almost somewhere between turquoise and that Tiffany green. Uh, this is very light. Let me show you the weave. I don't mind rayon, by the way, usually. It does wrinkle up. I have a steamer, and I also find with most rayon, if you take it out right after it's finished, you wash it on gentle, take it out right away, hang it to dry, and it's fine. Cotton's the same way. Beautiful light weave. Um, it's not a perfect shirt, but it's a really light shirt for those very hot summer days when you want to sleeve, but you don't want to swelter. The other thing about this top that's making me consider it, this is a likely, um, is these capris. I've had this pair of capris for years and I don't wear them all that much because patterned bottoms, it can be difficult to find something that matches and I don't have a whole lot that will match this. Take a look. Can you see the, the color? That's a pretty good match. So the fit on this wasn't perfect, but it was fine. So I'm going to have to think about this. This is maybe, maybe yes, maybe yes pile. This one, oh, the brand of this is uh, Staccato, and I will have the uh, fabric content right below the picture. This thing is really intriguing. Um, this is by a brand called Sago, S-O-G-G-O, and it is called Sago France. They have a website, which is www.sogo.fr. Uh, it is made in China. Apparently the parent company is in France. Um, I am so on the fence about this. I am leaning toward no. I love the flowiness. And at first I thought it was too big, but when I stood up and looked at it, it's not too big, that's the cut. And because the material is so flowy, it ends up not really looking boxy, especially if I kind of put my hands in my pockets, bunched it up a little bit. I love that. This satiny trim that's around the sleeves, I love that too. I wish it was also around the collar. That would make this even more perfect and would swing it more toward my keep pile. Um, the only thing that is bothering me is I really hate powder pastel pink. And that, that might look white to you, that is pink. The pink with the green and the orange just looks odd to me. When I wear something, I don't have to look at it. You're all looking at me. How did it look? I'm on the fence about it. It is really comfortable. I wore it for about 10 minutes after I shot the try-on and I walked around in it. It's really comfortable. It's polyester, but it's so airy that it's not hot. Let me know what you think. This one, this is Mr. Problem, this one. This is the one with the suede material. The light color wasn't as bad as I expected on me. It, it really wasn't bad. I do well with greens. I prefer a little bit more color to my tops, but it's summertime. The suede feeling, I can't decide if I like it or not, but it's really too small. You don't have to tell me it's too small. I know it's too small. So I was getting ready to do this recap, and I looked at the item. I looked at the item closer, and look what I saw. That's red pen. I don't have red pens here. This was not from me. This is as soon as I finished the trial, I picked up this top and said, hey, there's a red pen mark. So it's too small anyway. I emailed Fashion with a couple of questions. That was one of them, and they got back to me almost instantly. They got back to me really quickly. 
They said there's no size up available in this top right now that's in stock. So it's a moot point. But I told them about the pen mark. So either somewhere along the life of the shirt, someone was holding a red pen in their hand. Maybe somebody tried this on at home and didn't realize they marked it and returned it. Maybe just someone in the warehouse had a pen in their hand when they were packing it. It's not a big deal. They were quite ready to fix it. And Fashion is very good with customer service. If, if there was a size up, this would also be a serious contender. In fact, if there was a size up in this, I possibly could be swayed, persuaded to keep all five items because you keep all five and you get that 30% discount. Without the five for five discount, if you keep three of the items, there is a 25% discount. So that's still good. And there may be three in here for me to keep. I'm One I'm definitely keeping. The other ones I'm like... Oh, this beautiful thing. Um, I want to show you the back. The back is that solid color. This is cotton polyester. The liner, and there, you know, it's lined. That liner is polyester. This is, the whole shirt's 80% polyester, 20% cotton. So I'm guessing that's due to the liner and that this thread is probably just a regular 50-50 cotton poly thread that the crochet is made with. Um, the front where all the colors are. It felt, it feels funny to hold. And I'm going, why does this feel different than the back? I took a closer look at this and realized that's painted on. That is like, in fact, I suspect it's hand painted on. Uh, the tag says that some of these Sago items have hand details added. I think each one of these is going to be different. I think that is hand painted on there. Now I said, oh no, it's painted. Is this going to come off? Nothing. Will it come off in the wash? I would wash this, I wash anything new by itself unless it's already white. Um, if I wash this and this runs a little on this pattern, it's not gonna make any difference. It's just gonna look like it's supposed to be there. This was a tiny bit small on me, but not a whole lot small. And since my weight fluctuates five pounds up and down anyway, and right now it's on the five pounds up rather than the five pounds down, thinking about keeping this. Uh, polyester cotton blend it's not likely to shrink if I wash it cold and hang it to dry which I do with almost all my clothes so let me know how you thought this looked I wasn't wild about the white buttons this is a Henley they do unbutton on a whim I I saw what it would look like without the button I liked it better which made me think replace those white buttons with green buttons or with a dark button and it would look even better maybe something to match this blue this is a really unique piece inclined to keep on the fence and now we save the best for last the renee c top renee c made in the usa um this is like so basic this little tweedy top with a slight detail on the sleeve that ragged sleeve um it was too small there's no question it was too small i told them i emailed them in my email and they said there is a size up in stock for this so i will be exchanging this probably for a size up let me know what you thought about it i felt i hope the size up isn't too big this is a cotton polyester blend it is for a 98 degree day it might be a tiny bit heavy it's certainly not a heavy item despite the look of the tweed but i'd say this is more ideal for late spring and early fall but it's something i can wear to work in the classroom it's like a really nice teacher shirt i could put a blazer over it and dress it up or i could just wear it with jeans and dress it down i really like this one a lot i hope the size up looks good so that's my box i wanted to um let you know one of the things my stylist was malls and i want to read you part of her note Hi, hello monica i'm so excited for you to try on these summer options featuring some classic lines and trendy, unique details. The reason I wanted to read you that is that to me is fashion in a nutshell. Um, there's just something different about a lot of their items. The last box I got, you can go look at my last unboxing. There were some really unique items in there that I was really happy to try. And I'm still so sad. I returned that one top. <sighs> I miss it every day. I miss that top. So, and Malls did that box too, and she's done a really good job because with me, I like something that's basically more classic looking, but not quite. I like something unique and different. She sent me this in the last box. Um, so overall, I'm happy with this box. I'm definitely keeping one item. I might keep three items, especially for the discount. 
that would be that painted front item and the uh, turquoise top that would go with this. If that other shirt was available in exchange, I probably could have been persuaded despite the light pink. See, a rich pink, a rich warm pink, I like just fine. It's that baby pastel pink I don't like. They're just worlds apart to me. Um, even with that, I might have been convinced to keep that other top for that 30% discount and because it was so comfy. Oh my gosh, that top is so comfortable. So let me know what you think. Give me your opinions. Um, again, item names and prices will be in the description box below. Uh, most of them are in the their low 30s to low 40s in prices every item. And if I kept the discount, they would all be in the pretty much low to mid 20s for each item, which is a heck of a thing. So give me your opinion. I will see you soon. Um, I'll give you an update on fashion. And I have some other boxes coming within the next two weeks. So See you later. See you in the comments box. Okay. Bye-bye. I had emailed Fashion with some stuff when I um asking for size changes for some items. And I did send a picture of the ink on this shirt. And um, I said if they had any questions, they could email me or call or whatever. It didn't matter. So um, they, they phoned me. And not only did they phone, I thought some customer service rep was going to phone me. So I get the, the founder and CEO of fashion and she wanted to make sure everything was okay with it. And she wanted to tell me what steps she took when she saw the photo, she actually went over to where they pack their items and made sure that no one had pens in their hand when they were packing an item. And I said, well, this could have been returned from somebody else. It could have been anything. She said, no, she checked. I was the first person to get this shirt. And she was pretty sure at this point, I was like feeling bad for the people on the line uh, because I said, oh, it could have happened at the factory. She said, no, I'm pretty sure it happened where we were packing it. And I made sure that that's not going to happen again. Wow. And she reads all the feedback. I, I, I literally just got off the phone and I'm kind of stunned by the customer service. We actually talked for a little bit. Um, I could hear noise in the background. I think she was calling from her house. I think there were kids in the background. <laughs> And I was just so impressed with it. She told me a little bit about, I think she was especially disappointed with this one because this new company, Sago, which is based in France, she told me, um, is the one they're very excited about. I got three Sago tops in this box. So they're really, um, they are a fairly new company and they've been trying to expand and do kind of new and exciting things and partner with companies that have items other companies don't have. And, um, you know, I sent this picture. I wasn't mad. Stuff happens, you know. But my goodness, that response was quick. And for her to call me? I told you before, you guys know I like fashion. But, I mean, Stitch Fix has good customer service. I've always been happy with their customer service. Um, Trunk Club had good customer service. But this, this one tops the line for me. Um... I wanted to let you know, because that was just so incredible, even though I'd finished editing everything. Um, and she's definitely making sure I get this in a, in a bigger size, and I'm just overwhelmed. So, that's it, and I'm just going to sit here and be stunned. All right. And thank you, Fashion, for such a response. Bye-bye.